See, these are all his messages. You know what, Randall? Karma is a bitch and you'll get yours sometime. <laughs> Where's my money? You really did a great job of scamming me. You should be ashamed of yourself. What would your mother think if she knew what you did to me? And I am sure others. You know, made me feel better, but then after that I blocked it, so. You know, I'm a trusting person by nature and I trusted what was being said and whatnot. And I'm not so trusting anymore. <laughs> Um, I noticed two charges on my Amazon account uh, that I had not made. Uh, and I said, well, I did not make that, um, those purchases. And so the gal at Amazon said, it looks like somebody's hacked into your account. You need to change how you pay. So I changed to my credit, to a credit card, got a new account, um, filled out a um, form that they sent me in a couple of weeks I had my money transferred back into my checking account and then about four weeks after that I got a phone call that came up on my cell phone that it was from Amazon and a very nice English speaking woman said we've noticed activity on your account and we know you had this some problems a few weeks ago and we wanted to verify with you are you making these charges so she made a transfer to this gentleman that I spoke with who told me, um, he asked a few questions and whatnot, and then he said, I'm going to transfer you to an agent with the DEA who investigates these kinds of crimes. And from that point on, it was Randall Jenkins that I dealt with. Um, he said he'd investigate. He gave me his cell phone number so that when he called me back, I would know to answer it. He called me back the next day and said my name was being used to open up several credit cards and bank accounts all across the United States. And until they could clear me, I would be under suspicion for money laundering. And this terrified me that, that my name was being used. I mean, look at that. That looks so legitimate. <laughs> he, he said, you need to, to keep in touch with me. You need to tell me where you are. Um, text me, um, don't talk to anybody because we, you don't know who you can trust. And then he texted me and said that he uh, had cleared my name of being involved in this money laundering. But the culprits have my uh, uh, information and that to protect me from them getting into my accounts, I needed to protect my money. And they were going to open up a um, secure U.S. Treasury secured locker for me to transfer my money in and I needed to go to this checking account to my savings account withdraw all my money and take it to Walmart and wire transfer the money to barcodes that he would send me after I got to Walmart. And then he said that once they cleared everything, the investigation, then they would have a DEA agent come with a cashier's check of all my money and I can open up another account. So right away I knew something was going on. I contacted Randall and um, I asked him if he had done this. He said no, they had not taken any money out of my account. Um, and that uh, there, the culprits had now accessed my checking account. I kept going on with Randall. Um, he, he, I knew, I had told him I was dealing with the FBI and he kept contacting me wanting to know what were they finding out, what was the investigating showing. And um, I said, all I said was that they're still investigating. I didn't want to stop receiving text messages from him because I thought maybe the FBI would be able to do some investigation from what I had. And, but I never did hear back from the um, FBI agent that was assigned to make case. The big thing is, I think, is listen to your gut. If your gut says this isn't right, don't get sucked into it. Um, DEA never sends pictures of their badges. If you ever are involved with a DEA thing, it will be a live agent that comes to your house. Um, they will never contact you by phone. When they start saying, don't tell anyone right away, that's a clue to hang up or don't stop the interaction because they want to isolate you, they want to keep you away from um, talking to anyone to think that this isn't in fact a legitimate uh, situation. So.
I feel so violated and you know I just I, I hate to use my credit cards I don't like to charge from Amazon because I just feel you know it's just that's what started it all and it's so sad that it's gotten that way but anyway just try to be positive and keep going